what is coulomb's law well you will learn something very special in this lecture about coulomb's law i will teach you the basic concept of coulomb's law derivation of coulomb's law bonus questions best and easy explanation of writing coulomb's law in vector form applications and numericals so watch this lecture till the end and you will learn something very awesome firstly let me quickly revise the concept of forces between two charges we all know that like charges repel for example consider two positive charges we all know that they both repel each other now in physics we do not say that they repel each other rather we say that they experience repulsive force here if i ask you that how can you draw the direction of repulsive forces can you draw it well many students do not know it let me draw it this charge experiences repulsive force in this direction and this charge experiences repulsive force in this direction so remember that there are two repulsive forces similarly consider two negative charges we know that they also repel each other because they are like charges so here again two forces act on two charges separately secondly we know that unlike charges attract for example consider a positive charge and a negative charge now in physics we do not say that they attract each other rather we say that they experience attractive force in case of attractive forces we draw them like this so remember that attractive force are also two forces between two charges now here comes the most important question if i ask you how much repulsive force exists between these two charges or how much attractive force exists between these two charges how can you calculate it well it was first french scientist coulomb baba who successfully calculated this repulsive force between unlike charges and attractive force between like charges he put forward his famous law which we call coulomb's law thus in simple words coulomb's law calculated the force of attraction or repulsion between two charges let me repeat it in simple words coulomb's law calculated the force of attraction or repulsion between two charges here let me teach you one important term which is difficult for some students we all know that we measure mass in kg for example we say that 10 kg fruits similarly we measure charges in coulombs for example let the magnitude or size of this charge is 0.5 coulomb and the magnitude or size of this charge is 0.3 coulomb now if i say product of magnitude of charges can you understand it well it means that we multiply the magnitude of these two charges and we write 0.5 and 0.3 so note it down this basic concept which some students are not understanding now let me teach you what is coulomb's law well we have already learned that coulomb's law calculated the attractive or repulsive force between two charges now consider two static charges a two point charge at rest let i keep them in vacuum or air let the distance between these two charges is r the size or magnitude of this charge is q1 and the size or magnitude of this charge is q2 we already know that there exists repulsive force between them now the question is how much repulsive force well according to coulomb baba the force between these two charges is directly proportional to the product of magnitude of charges let me repeat it the force between these two charges is directly proportional to the product of magnitude of charges let this is equation number 1 secondly coulomb baba states that the force between these two charges is inversely proportional to the square of distance between them let me repeat it 
the force between these two charges is inversely proportional to the square of distance between them let this is equation number 2 now listen carefully i combine equation number 1 and equation number 2 i write f is directly proportional to the product of charges secondly f is inversely proportional to the square of distance between charges here I am interested to remove the sign of proportionality to do so I have to place a constant so I write f is equal to k and to q1 q2 upon r squared this is known as coulomb's law here this k is known as coulomb's constant r k is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not remember that k is actually the property of a medium for instance here the medium is vacuum in case of vacuum or air the value of k is approximately equal to 9 and to 10 to the power 9 newton meter squared per coulomb squared thus remember that coulomb's law depends on three factors product of magnitude of charges square of distance between charges and the medium k in which charges are kept the note it down all these important points now let me teach you three important concepts firstly where is coulomb force acting on charges well coulomb force act along the line joining the center of charges for example consider two charges here i draw a line between these two charges such that this line join the center of these two charges now the coulomb force either attractive or repulsive always act along this line let me repeat it the coulomb force either attractive or repulsive always act along this line secondly why coulomb law is called inverse square law the simple answer is force between two charge is inversely proportional to the square of distance between them for instance consider that i increase the distance between these two charges two times as a result of this the force will decrease four times between them secondly consider that i decrease the distance between them three times as a result of this the force increase nine times between them therefore we call it as inverse square law thirdly what is meant by point charges in coulomb's law well the simple answer is the charge should look like a point in space from a larger distance point charge doesn't mean small charge but it must be present at a larger distance for example consider stars in the sky they are the best example of point charges the stars are not small rather they are extremely large however due to a larger distance they appear points in the sky therefore remember that point charges means when charges appear points from a larger distance now let me teach you the most difficult concept of this lecture i mean writing coulomb's law in vector form i will teach you my personal method of writing it in vector form which you will not find anywhere consider these two charges in the first part in this part q1 charge will exert force on q2 charge as a result this q2 charge is displaced this q2 charge experiences the force of q1 charge in this direction now i call this force as f21 remember that f21 is force on q2 charge due to q1 charge let me repeat it F21 is force on Q2 charge due to Q1 charge. Secondly, we know that due to this force, the Q2 charge is displaced in this direction or away from the Q1 charge. So I call this displacement of Q2 as R12. I mean R12 is the displacement from Q1 charge towards Q2 charge. Let me repeat it. R12 is the displacement from Q1 charge towards Q2 charge. Thus remember that we have two parameters F21 
which is the force on Q2 charge due to Q1 charge and R12 which is the displacement from Q1 charge towards Q2 charge. Now I will write vector for this force. We know that any vector like F is equal to its magnitude and unit vector. We know that the magnitude of F is K into Q1 Q2 upon R squared and to R12 hat. Now this is how you learn in the traditional way in college. But have you ever asked your teacher that you are taking F21 force, you should put the unit vector of F21 hat. Well, let me explain it. Here, I put the unit vector of F21 hat. Now let me also explain the terminology of unit vector. Remember these two points about unit vector. Its magnitude is always 1 and it shows only direction. So the unit vector of F21 is F21 hat and its magnitude is 1. Similarly, the unit vector of R12 is R12 hat and its magnitude is 1. Now listen carefully. Unit vector of F and unit vector of R are equal vector because they have same magnitude and same direction. Let me repeat it. Unit vector of F and unit vector of R are equal vector because they have same magnitude and same direction. Thus instead of this F21 hat, I can put R12 hat unit vector. Let this is equation number 1. Now consider these two charts in the second part. Here Q2 will exert force on Q1. As a result of this, Q1 is displaced. We already know that Q1 experiences force of Q2, we call it F12. Our F12 is the force on Q1 by Q2. Secondly, this Q1 charge is displaced away from Q2. We say R21 is the displacement from Q2 towards Q1. Let me repeat it. R21 is the displacement from Q2 towards Q1. Now I will write vector form of this force. F21 is equal to K into Q1 Q2 upon R squared and to F12 hat. We already know that the unit vector of F12 and R12 is the same. So instead of this, I write R21 hat unit vector. Let this is equation number 2. Now listen carefully. I take this unit vector R12 of equation number 1 and I write it here. Similarly, I take unit vector R21 of equation number 2 and I write it here. We know that the magnitude of unit vector is 1. What about its direction? Well, the direction of R12 unit vector is towards right and the direction of unit vector R21 is towards left. So I write R12 is equal to negative R21. Remember that here this minus sign indicates opposite direction. Now I can put this unit vector in either equation, equation number 1 or equation number 2. For example, I put minus R21 in equation number 1. I write F21 is equal to K into Q1 Q2 upon R squared and to minus R21. Our F21 is equal to, I bring the minus sign to the first position and to K and to Q1 Q2 upon R squared and to R21 hat. Now listen carefully. We can see that F12 is also equal to K and to Q1 Q2 upon R squared and to R21 hat. So instead of this, I put here F12. Thus I get F21 is equal to minus F12. It means that these two charts exert equal forces on each other in opposite direction. Let me repeat it. These two charts exert equal forces on each other in opposite direction. So this is the proof of writing Coulomb's law in vector form. Finally, 
Let me teach you the application or numerical of Coulomb's law. A positive charge of 3 and to 10 to the power negative 6 Coulomb is 0.02 meter away from the second positive charge of 5 and to 10 to the power minus 6 Coulomb. Calculate the force between them. Well, firstly, I write the given data. Let the Q1 charge is 3 and to 10 to the power minus 6 Coulomb. The Q2 charge is 5 and to 10 to the power minus 6 Coulomb. The distance between them is 0.02 meter and the force between them is required. We know that using Coulomb's law, we can calculate the force between them. I write F is equal to K and to Q1 Q2 upon R squared. Or F is equal to the value of K is 9 and to 10 to the power 9. And I plug in all these values in this equation. After calculation, I get F is equal to 337.5 Newton. So the force between charges is 337.5 Newton. Therefore, using Coulomb's law, we can calculate Coulomb's force between charges. This was all about Coulomb's law.